Hi guys, welcome to this Sunday afternoon after update. Um, if I sound a bit strange, I've got quite a bad cold at the moment. So <laughs> I'm feeling a bit worse for wear today. Anyway, uh, so this is update number four for the Orc truck uh, big rig conversion. And I've been doing a lot more work on the trailer. So without further ado, let's have a look. So this is how it looks at the moment. As you can see, we've got the truck is still the same. Um, what we do have is we've now got uh, the flatbed on top of the truck. So I just want to take this. So some people have suggested that that would be a cool thing to do. Sort of stick a truck on the back there. Um, so I'm not sure if it would fit two normal sized trucks because this is slightly longer than a, than a normal truck. It might, it might just do that. But uh, that's that. I just wanted to show you guys. So, how does it all work? That's the main reason I wanted to put this video up. So, if we put that to the background. But it's real. Okay. So, what I've done is, I may as well take the wheels off for this. Because they're only going to get in the way when they keep falling off. I've put magnets on the trailer. So, it comes off in two parts. That was the whole point of it. Uh, all the way along is having two uh, sections that can come off so I can mix and match different things. But as you can see, we've got these like barrel type things going on here. I haven't uh, finished off putting um, bolts and things on it. Um, we've got these barrels and they're evenly spaced, perfectly spaced to take two uh, sections and they can be mixed and matched between the two. You probably notice on this bit here, I've got a bit of a ledge there. That's because that one's the one that goes on the front. I suppose it could go on the back as well. And that goes there, and that's got a little bit missing across the top there that you can see. Uh, again, it needs bolts put in around the place that'll make it or sort of finish it off, make it look uh, better, and then that bit clips on top. And that is it. I mean, of course, it needs something at the back here, some sort of uh, ramp or something if I'm going to be using it for um, if it's going to be used for transporting uh, trucks around and things like that obviously in the fluff um, but it's yeah I mean even that by itself I think it's looking pretty cool and when you've got things that don't have a big cover on the top say you've got like a, an oil drum and then its supports will come up from here I think these little details here because there'll be um, rivets and bolts that go all the way around and on this support embrace here. Um, it'll look pretty cool because it's better than having just a flat piece of plastic card and then a couple of magnets on there. What I've actually got is I've got the, the magnets inside a tube of plastic card and then uh, stuck some bits on. Just adds a bit of character, I think. Um, I think this bit here still needs to make, be made a lot more orky. It's very basic at the moment. Um, it looks, even though you've got the sort of randomness of these being offlaid, offlaid, off-centered and whatnot, it doesn't look orky enough. That I mean, that could be an imperial vehicle if you were to ignore just the minor details. So, I mean, that needs changing, which I'll do in time. Uh, but that's it. That's the first topper for the, the trailer. I just wanted to um, show you guys so you can get an idea of where this is going. So we'll get a picture of of what I meant, because I'm not sure if I explained it very well in the last video. And that is it. Uh, obviously, I'm going to finish off these uh, flatbed bits, which are the easiest to do, which is why I did them first, and then I'll move on to doing more complicated ones. And, um, and you can expect those in the upcoming videos. So, nothing left to say, but thank you very much for watching. Stay well, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.